Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mousetrap Genius. Today we're going to be looking at three of the top electric fly swatters. Those are, from your left to your right, the Electo or Elucto, the Zappet, and the Executioner. We're going to be testing all three of these out in the field on real insects, and then we're going to be helping you make the decision which one is the right one for you. All three of these come with pretty great warranties. All three of them also come with batteries. Uh, in the case of the Zappet, it is rechargeable. It's the only one of them that is rechargeable. In the case of the Elucto and the Executioner, they each come with two standard AA batteries. I will say though, I did have a bit of an issue with the batteries. Uh, with the Executioner, uh, they just weren't there. There was a little packet that said batteries on it, but they, they were not actually in it. I will say the uh, packaging of the Executioner was pretty beat up when I got it, so I think that uh, may have been more the fault of uh, the shipper than it was of uh, the guys at Executioner themselves. So uh, that's uh, probably not a big deal, but I thought I'd mention that it didn't actually come with the batteries. The Elucto um, came with batteries, but I did find I had some uh, issues uh, with it uh, not actually killing the bugs completely, which actually I had a little bit of that issue with all three of these guys, which we'll get to that later. But uh, it was pretty substantial in the beginning. However, I uh, went ahead and put some of my own uh, fresh AA batteries in the Elucto, and uh, it worked uh, at least quite a bit better after that. So, we're gonna look at these guys one at a time. Let's start off with the Elucto here, or Electo. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but we have it and we tested it, so that's the main thing. Uh, it comes with a pretty clean uh, parallel bar killing grid, which I like that because uh, as soon as you press the trigger on the side and this red light comes on back here, uh, it is armed. You might even be able to hear a little bit of a high pitch uh, whining noise. I don't know if I hold it close to the mic here if you can hear that. There you go. Um, and uh, anything that touches that, once it's armed, it's not armed right now, but anything that touches that grid anywhere is going to get zapped. Next, we're gonna look at the Zappet. The Zappet is a little bit different than uh, the other two that we're looking at today in that it uh, is actually a three-layer killing grid or killing mesh actually is what they usually call it. It also has a couple extra bells and whistles. For uh, one thing, when you enable it and turn it on, uh, there's actually a flashlight on here, which uh, is probably a nice feature if for some reason you're like uh, trying to go after mosquitoes in the dark at your campsite or something like that. I don't really know why else you would be trying to uh, swat flies at night, but uh, it's handy if you're ever in that situation. Also, and probably my favorite thing about the Zappet is that it is rechargeable. It actually comes with a uh, little micro USB cord and you can just uh, plug that right into the base here. Plug it in then to either a, a phone charger or a car charger or even to your computer probably and uh, it'll charge until it's completely charged. The uh, light on it shows uh, red or amber and when it is completely charged it shows green and you are ready to go. So that's something I really like about it. I don't like the uh, mesh quite as much actually, but we will get to that in a minute. Next, we're looking at the Executioner. The Executioner um, is kind of just like a much uh, larger and scarier version of the Elucto. Um, it also uses just a, a trigger on the side to arm it. You see that red light come on and you can hear the uh, little uh, pickup from that, maybe. It's also a parallel bar killing grid, which uh, again, I like because as soon as you arm it, it's uh, ready to zap anything. And it's also uh, pretty easy to clean. Now, all three of these electric fly swatters claim to kill insects with one swing or one zap. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really find that to be the case with any one of them 100% of the time. I did feel like the uh, Executioner actually 
was a little more consistent in keeping to that promise. Um, whereas I had a, a few more instances uh, with the Elucto and then uh, actually even more than that with the Zap It where uh, things got hit and maybe they were stunned for a moment, but then uh, after laying on the ground and uh, writhing around for a minute, they just got back up and flew away, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, you'd expect when you shock something with a bunch of electricity that hopefully it should be dead. But uh, I did find that with, with each of these really, there were occasions where that did not happen. The executioner maybe did a, a little bit better on that front, so I thought I'd mention that. Which one do I like the best though? Well, the Zap It has some really cool features, uh, but at the end of the day, um, this, this mesh just really isn't working for me and I'll tell you why. Um, well, it does provide an amount of safety in that um, even when it's armed, you can just touch the outer part of it and it won't shock you. Uh, that also means that bugs won't get electrocuted unless they touch uh, the inner part as well because the way this works is there's an electric current uh, running through I believe it's the center layer of the mesh and when an insect touches the outer layer and the inner layer at the same time it creates a circuit and uh, kills them. That I think makes it a little bit harder to actually kill them and also it's extremely hard to clean. Um, I found that you kind of have to end up digging things out of it with like a pencil or something. And uh, that's not just kind of a, a, a cleanliness problem and uh, it looks bad, but it also uh, means that if something's stuck in there and gets stuck in there, anytime that you arm it, um, it's going to just start burning and cooking basically if there's something stuck touching both of the layers. So you're kind of forced to stop every now and then and clean it out. Um, I really did not care for that as much. I like the like the, uh, the flashlight's kind of cool, and then I really like the fact that it's rechargeable, but uh, to me that just doesn't make up for the problems that I had with the mesh. So if you really want something that's rechargeable, I would say get one of these guys, either the Elucto and the Executioner, and then just maybe consider investing in some rechargeable uh, AA batteries to use with them if uh, rechargeable is really a big issue for you. So from the Elucto or Electo, again, I don't know how to say it, and the Executioner, uh, which one did I like better? Well, really just comes down to an amount of uh, personal preference at the end of the day. This one seemed like it maybe had a, a little bit of a higher success rate killing things with one swat, but it could be as well that I just tried to kill a number of larger insects with this one and so had uh, more problems. Uh, they both worked pretty consistently. So I feel like uh, the, the Elucto just suits me a little bit better personally. Um, I like uh, the fact that it seems to, to fit my hand nicely and also the fact that it's smaller I think makes it a bit easier to swing. Maybe though you actually want a, a larger racket size. Um, if you're using this outside and uh, trying to really go after things, uh, having a bit more surface area probably would give you a bit of an advantage uh, because it's usually easier to hit things with a bigger racket. So that said, I think these are both great investments as far as an electric fly swatter is concerned. I would feel very comfortable recommending either of them. I will post links to all three of these guys on Amazon down in the video description. And uh, if you found this video was helpful and are ready to uh, make a purchase, uh, I'd be honored if you used our links for that. Don't forget to subscribe to Mousetrap Genius on YouTube for more great videos just like this one. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, uh, hopefully fly-free 